guys, welcome to Beer Time. My name is Kyle, and today on uh, this episode of Day Drinking, um, we're going to try a summer uh, a summer beer uh, for sure. Um, today I've got Shiner Prickly Pear, and Shiner, if you've ever had Shiner Bach, you know, it's a decent uh, drinking Bach, decent beer, and Shiner makes a pretty good product, so we're going to give this a try today and see if we kind of like this, if this thing maybe tastes like summer. Um, I'm going to pour just a little bit of this into the glass, and I'm not going to pour it all in. I'll tell you why in a minute. So let's take a look at this. Nice. It's very clear for having fruit and fruit juice in it, right? Beautiful kind of amber color. It smells like... Pilsner and some kind of like tangy fruit. Mm. Wow, that's pretty good. That's that's really good. So this thing's got prickly pear in it, which is a kind of uh, cactus uh, fruit. Um, it smells a little bit like blueberries and raspberries, to be honest. Mm. The flavor is actually pretty, pretty good in this in the glass too. I was a little worried that maybe, you know, sometimes these these summer beers, lighter bodied beers, doesn't do a whole lot for them when you get them in a glass. Those aromas and stuff come out of it. You know, to be honest, something like uh, a domestic, like maybe Budweiser, Bud Light. You know, putting it in a snifter like this, getting your nose in there. You know, it just doesn't do a whole lot for you. So the reason why I left some of this in the bottle was sometimes I think it's not a bad idea to drink a beer from a bottle. And experts will tell you that that's just hooey. But, you know, being a traditional guy that likes to crack, crack open a, a cold bottle of beer, uh, some suds, if you will, and uh, drink straight from the bottle, um, you know, I, I'm... I'm kind of non-traditional in that way. I actually like to drink it from a bottle from time to time. Um, and a beer like this, let's just keep drinking. It tastes similar, to be honest. Um, it's still got that kind of a fruity uh, kind of blueberry with just a, a tinge of raspberry to it. Um, it's got a mouthfeel like like an unfiltered wheat beer, although it's obviously not. I mean, it, I thought this thing would be just like full of stuff, but it's it's relatively clear, good looking beer, really. And, you know, I think personally, this would be great. Uh, if you're going to, would I buy this for a, for a party or something? Yeah, I, I would definitely throw this in the cooler. There are going to be some people that like this. And in the summer, this could be pretty refreshing. It's not overly sweet. I mean, it's most certainly a fruit beer, but not um, not cloyingly sweet. And I think it would make a great addition uh, to whatever beers that kind of put out for the, the, the barbecue or uh, whatever it is you're doing. As for day drinking, is this a good beer? Yeah, this is a great tasting beer. This is easy to drink. Yummy. I was going to see on here what this is running. 4.9%. So it's running even a little bit less than, you know, your standard Budweiser's, not much, but it's good. It's got a lot of carbonation in it. I'm like right now, you know, in the morning, it's kind of rough. Um, sometimes kind of take, uh, putting all this carbonation in and, uh, but, you know, it's going to be, I'm going to be all right, you know. Ooh. That's pretty good. I'm going to just pour the rest in here. And, um, yeah, I got to tell you. Go out, get yourself a six-pack of this Shiner Prickly Pear. It's really good stuff. I'd highly recommend it if you're looking for a neat fruit beer to try. And uh, enjoy yourself. I'm going to get back to day drinking here. i got to get this thing down and get on with it. But I hope you guys have a great day and you can get out and do some day drinking too. Thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.